Hello and welcome. This is Damian with Dice Junkies. I'm in Fallout 4 and I'm just going to show you basically how to get some materials that you need when you start off with a survival build. <clears throat> now I'm on a new survival character and what I'm doing is I'm going to get some leather so that I can make her some armor. Now the armor that I'm making is called the Rebel. I'm not sure if it's still on Nexus. I heard that it was taken down, but I'm not sure. You can always check on the Nexus and just do a search for the Rebel. And once I get enough leather, I'll, I'll make the entire set and I'll show you what it looks like. But right now, this is my survival build. It's pistols and explosives only uh, is what I'm gonna try to do with the build and we're going after some leather now I've already gone over to Red Rocket I went to Red Rocket I got dog meat and we killed all those mole rats I went into the cave under Red Rocket killed all those mole rats but I didn't get enough leather to do what I need to do so what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you a few little extra things also on the way there but we're going after leather And I've been able to mod my weapon a little bit. Not a lot. But I got it modded up where it'll do 36 damage. I've got some, you know, I got the, uh, the sights on it. I got the longer, uh, the longer magazine in it. And, I mean, this is the only one I'm using. I'm going after the 44. I'm going to turn the 44 into like a sniper pistol for me. That was nice. Now, rat stacks give you four leather, so it's always nice when you can kill those, because uh, each one of their hides give you four leather. What was that? What was it? That's a mole rat that just kind of flew out of nowhere. The reason that I hunt mole rats, of course, is for leather, but they're easier to kill than a lot of things. They usually mob you, uh, where you'll get you'll get a bunch of them hit you at one time, and you can actually get up a a, a good amount of. Uh, I'm not picking that gourd up. You you can pick up a good amount of leather off of them. Now each hide is only one leather though, so you would need to kill you know enough of them to get what you need. Now I need 21 leather. Is how much I need. Now you'll see, uh, this is on the lake, there's sanctuary, this is on the lake, on the lake bank. A lot of you may already know about this, some of you may not. But you flip this circuit breaker on this machine here, and then you follow the hose up the hill. And it leads you here to this, and you flip this open, and it drops caps. This is also where you can get your first 44 pistol, and a little bit of ammo. Now I have a mod that will allow me to make ammo, but I have to be, I think it's gun nut rank 2 to make the ammo for the 44. Now once you're here, you can see all these little pink things out here. Those are mole rats. And we're not getting a lot of leather off of it yet. Another one. Now these mole rats are always here. I've never not seen them be here. And what you want to do is you just want to uh, you want to make them come out like I did with by shooting that one. That kind of basically aggroed them. And then you can just take them out. Now we're going to avoid those raiders over here in this camp. I don't feel like fighting them. And my next objective, there are a couple of chem boxes and a body that are just out in the middle of an open area up here. And whenever you loot those chem boxes, you get more mole rats come out. And that's what I want to do. I want to make those mole rats come out. Now I'm going to show you some landmarks for this. There are the chem boxes right there and the dead body. That's right there. There's a chimney here. Those raiders are right there. 
and there is the Olivia Satellite Station right there. So if you actually come through and kill the Raiders and you see this chimney, the boxes are right here. And they almost always spawn mole rats. And you'll get some, uh, you'll get some uh, drugs out of it. A few caps. Well, I'll take the bottle. And uh, then we're just going to wait for them to spawn because I've never seen them not spawn. It may take them a minute, but... Uh, Once you hit that box, that tells them, hey, there's somebody over there. And I don't want to get too close that way because then we'll pull those raiders, and I don't, I don't feel like having that. And, of course, the one time that they don't show up is going to be while I'm doing this video. All right, then. Well, I'm not going to wait around any longer. i got other stuff I want to show you. And uh, we're kind of on some time constraints. So, heading on. Now, if you head towards Olivia, and you take a left, you can turn left here and go through the rocks, or you can go around the rocks. But but you're going to see a couple of different things. You're going to see a, a vertebrate over there. There's there's four or five rad stacks. We're going to try to kill those. But the first thing that we're going to do after I pick up these gourd blossoms is we're going to go to the robotics facility and we're going to activate the robot at the robotics facility here now once he's activated it spawns six or seven mole rats and they'll drop leather and there's there's some good stuff here if you can carry it like this chest will always have some fusion cores and behind this car is a fat man it's very heavy though it weighs 30 pounds so you may not want to pick it up it'll sell for a nice amount of caps but it's still very heavy and then right here at the gate sometimes you'll have to come over here and jump up and down to knock this thing loose but you can get a mini nuke there and then the door bugs out sometimes, but uh, you'll get some uh, you'll get some materials and stuff in here. If you have power armor, there's a magazine for your power armor paint job. But then you click on the uh, you click on the terminal here, and what I do because I, I don't usually go into it, I just hit R to eject the tape because to me it just seems to go faster if you go into your pit boy to do it and you go over to miscellaneous, and there's the combat sentry prototype. Just click on that and you want to activate the sentry bot. Yes, you're sure because they tell you yeah it's it's a it's a prototype and it could hurt you or whatever. Uh, but it never does unless you attack it. And then you have some options. You can deactivate it, you can initiate initiate self-destruct. If you want to get the, uh, if you want to get the loot off of it, you just initiate self-destruct. It'll blow itself up, and you get some more fusion cores and, uh, you know, some more robotics-type things off of it. But what I want to do is engage the defense protocol, and I want to send it to Olivia. That's all I want to do with it. And then he will start it. Let's see how heavy are we right now. We're 116 and 145. I'm going to store the mini nuke in here. But, uh, not the mini nuke, the uh, fat man. Because it weighs, you can see, 30 pounds. That's a lot when you're in survival. So I'm going to drop that. And I think I'm going to try to keep everything else. That should be fine. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. We're just going to drop the fat man here for right now. Now, see, he's fired up now. And he's going about his mission to protect Olivia. Now, sometimes you'll luck out and he'll kill the raiders there. Um, there's, an ex there's a mole rat in Olivia that has, um, that has uh, mines on it. And just be sure not to get in his way whenever this defense starts because 
if you accidentally attack him, he'll kill you, and if he whops you over the head by accident, he'll kill you. Um, but if he kills all the rats, then you can just come through and loot them. Now, I've never seen him kill all of them. There's always one or two left that pop up after he leaves. But, you know, I mean, that's, that's why I got a gun. But anyway, that's, uh, that's some more leather right here for us. And then he's going down the road. And if we luck out, he'll take care of the raiders and the explosive mole rat for us. If we don't, we'll have to take care of them carefully. Uh, because that can be a pretty dangerous situation. Now, this is what we're after, though. This is the good stuff. So what I'm going to try to do is get a couple of sneak attacks on the rat tag. And with a 10 millimeter that I've only got one point into uh, gunslinger on, it's kind of hard, but I got that one. Now later on, the 10 mil will take them out with no problems. And for those of you who are playing with, uh, you know, a power armor build or something, you can actually come here without ever going to Concord, and you can get most of the time it's a partial suit. I've never seen a full suit; it's always been missing like a leg or something. But you can get uh, you can get some power armor right there. See, there he goes. He's going up there right now. He's going to kill the raiders. So I'm hoping he does that really good, and then we won't have to deal with them because they can be a pain um, to take out. Now. All right, there's another rad stag down. Uh, there's the one I killed. There's the other one that ran. Also, what a lot of people don't know is that this area, this this field area here, is full of mole rats. So when you're out here looting some stuff, you'll attract the attention of mole rats also, which is more leather. Ooh, yeah, that thistle spit out some radiation for us. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. All right, so, well, oh, there he is. Got him, finally. But he, that's four leather. If he drops high, that's four leather, so it's worth hunting him down. There we go. And while I'm over here, I'm collecting all the uh, plants that I can. I've missed a few, but uh, I can always go back and get those. Um, they just stuffed this person into a barrel. I don't need any of that. I'll take your squirrel bits, though. Squirrel bits are good because you can make squirrel stew out of it, which is an experience-based food. Uh, anytime you find squirrel bits, you just get them. Got it. And if I have everything I need for them, I will actually cook them up and show you what they do, if you don't know. And the mole rats haven't attacked us yet, so that's pretty good. Ah, there we go. And I totally missed him. In survival mode, these mole rats will give you disease too, so you got to be very careful with that. Maybe all of them. Good, 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 good. Now let's see if it'll show us how much uh, how much leather we've actually got. We got eight hides, so that's eight leather, and we got four of those. That's sixteen. So yeah, we got plenty. That's twenty-four. I only needed twenty-one, so we should have enough leather now to make the entire outfit. Now, <clears throat> the reason I want to make this particular set of armor is this armor will get me all the way to level 13. Level 13 is where I make my second set of armor, which is the serious armor. Uh, it Basically, it comes with uh, some good protection, comes with water breathing, 
Um, it has a lot of advantages. It looks kind of like the old stealth suit in a way, um, but that is my secondary armor. But you have to have armor two to make it, which is level 13. Uh, so we're going to make the rebel here, which should get us through to level 13 so that we can do that with the other armor. Oh, it's this guy. Our girl. Your little pipe pistol jacked me up pretty good. All right. Grab these blood leaf. And now that we're back. We're gonna be um, we're gonna have to be parched here for a minute, but the only way to cure that is a stem pack. So uh, I don't know why, why why I accidentally clicked that, but okay. But it's a it that was just a quick save. So <clears throat> all right, now we're back with the leather. And I'm going to put all this junk up. Alright, we got 16 more meat. And when you're playing survival, definitely pick up all the meat. But I don't do like a lot of people do and just... Um, make picture frames over and over and over again to for experience um when i'm playing a game like this this is this is actually uh you know where i'm building a character up and there's a story behind her you know and <clears throat> i i kind of want to just level up like a, a person would level up pretty much now we don't need any of the ammo except for the 44 and the 10 millimeter. We'll come over to the chemistry station. We're going to go all the way down to utility. And here's the rebel gear. Now I've already I already made the hoodie because all it takes is cloth. So we're going to start out with the biggest one first. And then we're going to make the gas mask and the important one, the backpack. The backpack gives you plus 100 carry weight. In a survival build that is very important. And I'm going to take off the, uh, I have a mod that lets me wear armor over clothing other than what the game specifically allows you to wear over clothing. Um, but this would be clipping really bad and I actually want to show this off. Let's see what we just worked for. This is the Rebel with the backpack. And, you know, the gas mask gives you some radiation protection. It kind of reminds me of, um... What was it? Stalker. Kind of reminds me of Stalker. I, I love that look uh, back in the day. But the backpack gives you uh, plus one damage resist. If you look down at my carry weight, it says 215. I take the backpack off, it's 115, so it gives you plus 100 carry weight. The gas mask gives you radiation protection, a little bit of ballistic, and then one endurance. Uh, the hoodie is just one damage resist, and the armor gives you 75 ballistic and five. Uh, radiation and it gives you one agility one perception so it's not overpowered at all but it's a nice set that's gonna hopefully get us through to level 13 so I can make the secondary armor but anyway that's what I wanted to show you I wanted to show you a couple of those places that some people have told me they didn't know anything about 
and I wanted to show you the best way to get leather in the game when you're starting out on survival. Um, if you don't, if you don't have the money, you can't go buy it. Then you can farm it up real quick. It didn't take long at all. So hopefully it was informative for you. You enjoyed it. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Remember to like and share. And please subscribe if you have not already. Drop a comment for us. All of our links are down below in the description. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great evening.